And now, from the capital city, it's Nitique with Edward St. Pei. Thank you, Jim Pollard, and welcome to Nitique. In more news from the capital city, it was announced today that due to budget woes, the city has decided to furlough most workers at least once monthly, with the exception of police and fire personnel. This once monthly furlough is planned over the next two years as a way of saving nearly $5 million for the general fund. Mayor Tony Yorber and the city council members say they will also share in the pain and observe the furlough themselves, which will result in a reduction in their salaries. In fact, the mayor called a press conference and announced that he will be taking on two part-time jobs, one as a plumber and one as a Kentwood water distributor. This raised an outcry from the city council who complained that the mayor was capitalizing on city infrastructure problems because the city's underground piping system is crumbling and the city is under a water boil alert. The mayor responded by furloughing the entire city council. In related news, NASA scientists in Houston hosted a press conference. They announced the confirmation of the existing of flowing water on the red planet. This officially makes Mars more qualified to support human life than the city of Jackson. <laughs> Brown University recently rescinded Bill Cosby's honorary degree for admitting in a deposition that he put quaaludes in women's drinks to relax them for lovemaking. Mixing drugs is a risky business. Last week, an old hippie in Malibu, California took LSD and Cialis, and he wound up making love with a rainbow for two days. <laughs> Meanwhile, NBC gathered 27 women to share accusations against Bill Cosby. They tried to find room for all the accusers, but the Staples Center in Los Angeles was already booked. <laughs> Finally, Donald Trump will be hosting Saturday Night Live. The Trumpster will handle his own security. His comb over will open carry Aquanet Extra Super Hold. Well, a great show coming up on this edition of Nitique. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with more of Nitique after these messages. Your on-air career journey begins at broadcastdemo.tv. Both recent graduates as well as seasoned news and weather veterans need an updated and fresh demo tape to apply for those on-air positions across the country. At broadcastdemo.tv, a one-day visit to our Weather Vision studio, and you'll have an HD and digitally edited demo tape that you'll be proud of. Broadcastdemo.tv. Invest in yourself. Yeah, I'm a roach whisperer. I've just always had a way with them. Now, roaches are stubborn, nasty insects, and sometimes you just gotta be forceful with them. Kai Roach, be gone. Hey, hey. You're not welcome here, Roach. There is a better way. Bengal Roach Spray. No odor, no mess, no roaches. Bengal Roach Spray really works. And if whispering don't work, I always got my backup plan. This is important news for people who have suffered serious infections after hip or knee replacement surgeries or open heart surgery. Your infection may be the result of a device used in the operating room. If you suffered an infection that led to hospitalization or surgery after your hip or knee replacement or after open heart surgery, call the law offices of Davis and Crump at the number below right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call now. When you are looking to further your education, there's only one university that towers above the rest, Jackson State University. Jackson State University is one of the leading universities in research, technology, and innovation, graduating more than 1,300 students annually and a consistent growth in revenue. Jackson State University is ranked number one amongst the HBCUs in research and development. Make the right choice, the one choice, one Jackson State University, changing lives one student at a time. And now back to more Night Cheek. Well, I'd like to welcome Dr. Elaine Hayes Anthony. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Edward. Now, Dr. Anthony is the director of the mass communication department here at Jackson State. That is correct. And Doc, you and I have known each other for how is it over 20 years? Do, do we really want to say how long? Is it 20 it's just it's over 20 years. Over 20 years. Yes, for a long, long time. It's a long time, and, and so we go way back. We go back to well, uh, we worked together when you were the director of the communications department at Bellhaven. That's true. That's true. And, and so you were my first student. I, I was. I was. Yes. And uh, and and um, so we go way back. Now, I, you know what I'd like to talk to you about. 
we'll talk about academia and things you're doing at Jackson State now. Sure. But sure. what's interesting to me is you are one of the forerunners in uh, the area of broadcasting mm -hmm. in Jackson from the standpoint of a black female mm -hmm. uh, moving into the newsroom. Uh, tell us about your experience. You were at the CBS affiliate in Jackson. I was at the CBS affiliate in Jackson. I was their first intern from Jackson State University at the CBS affiliate right here in Jackson. And after my internship, I tried to make myself indispensable. After that process, the general manager brought me in and he said, well, what do you plan to do after your internship? I said, well, I want to work in this business. He said, would you like to work here? I said, sure, but I didn't see any openings on the board. He said, Co take a couple of weeks off and come back. I did that, I came back, the rest is history, but he wanted to know, I, I did an internship where you spent a couple of weeks all over the place. You were in news, you were in promotion, you were in programming, you were in sales, you were in engineering, you were in production. And then he said, well, of all those areas, where do you really see yourself? And I said, in news, and he said, I said, is there anything wrong with that? He said, no. And uh, the key thing is that at that time, I had an afro out to here. And um, I went on to be in news, and I told him I really wanted to end up being an anchor. So of course I had to tone my afro down a little bit because I was kind of off the, off the, the, the screen there a little bit. But uh, I'm so grateful that uh, Channel 12 took a chance on a kid right out of college. And so when you went on the air as a reporter, mm -hmm. uh, at that point, had there been many black faces on Jackson Television at that point? There had not been many black faces, and there were no black female faces at Channel 12. I was the very first one. What female. was your experience covering the news in, in that environment that we were in back in, in those days? Uh, some of it I can say was good news, and some of it I can say was not so good. I covered everything from the governor to the mayor to the board of supervisors to the city council. I covered bank robberies. I covered openings. I covered economic development, and my beat was really education. Um, so I had some very, very good stories to, to tell. And then I covered this guy that was a libertarian candidate from some place, and he had a news conference at the, uh, then the Jackson Airport. And uh, I showed up with, with uh, my camera person, and I was the only African American there. And before he started his news conference, he said, and who are you supposed to be? Well, at that time, I was young and directly out of college, and I just told him my name is Elaine Hayes. And so he said, well, why are you here? I said, to cover this story for my station, which is WJTV TV 12. And uh, it seems like he was just stumped that at that point in time that they would send this kid right out of Jackson State to, to cover that story. So, you know, that was something. That's, that, a, that's an interesting story. That was an interesting story. And it, then it, I had it, to. It kind of wants you, want, it, it kind of gives you inspiration to, to <laughs> double up and, and, and and, and go further, doesn't it? Yeah, it, and, and, and it did. Um, I was a little annoyed, but I was not frustrated at all because I had a goal. And the goal was to keep going in this business. I never dreamed that my goal would land me all the way back here, which is full circle. Full circle. But my goal was to make it in news. What is the ingredient that students need to keep in mind? I mean, going through the program, mass communication program at Jackson State, they will learn about the techniques of cameras and reporting and journalism and all that. But are there any intangible elements that need to be infused into that young person so when they get out they can be successful? Edward, I'm glad you brought that up. We can teach you the skill. We can teach you the writing. We can teach you the technology. But what I wish I could bottle or what I wish I could infuse into the curriculum is drive and determination. It did make me a bit of difference that I was the very first because that was something that I wanted to do. And it came from my heart. I really wanted to do that. I can't bottle that and I can't put that in the curriculum. That drive and determination, you know we had it. We, you started out in the mail room. I started out uh, as an intern, and then uh, Monday through Friday, then they had an opening on the receptionist's desk on Saturday and Sunday. I was literally working eight hours a day, 
seven days a week. And so, glad to be doing and it. And just wonderful, just happy right. to be doing it. So uh, what I want to get is that I want to get this entitlement out of our students. You're not entitled to anything. You're entitled to work hard and to try to make it in this business. You've got to have the enthusiasm. You've got to have the determination. And I wasn't about to let anybody tell me no in terms of, uh, you know, of anything that I really wanted to do. So if I said, what can you get out of this program? We can teach you the skill. And I can talk about the enthusiasm and the drive and the determination until, you know, forever. But the student really has to bring that to me when they enroll at this university. Because we can make it happen, but I can't give you that stick to itness and that excitement. I was excited just getting up every morning, knowing that I was just gonna do something great, something fun, something creative. I love to create. And to me, going on a story meant I was creating that. And I just love to do it. But uh, I never got up a day and I have to say this, I'm not lazy. I wanted to get up. I really wanted to go to work. And so what I'm trying to impart to my students is that you can learn the craft, but this is not a job. It's a career. And it's something that you have to enjoy doing. Now, whether I'm going to be able to impart that enjoyment, I don't know. But I'm trying the best that I can because that's the only way to really be a success, is to enjoy this, to live this. When I was off duty, everything I saw became a story. I wonder could I turn a story on that? But the other thing I want to impart to my students is that this is not the only area in mass communication. You have sales, you have marketing, you have internet, you have web design, uh, you, know, you have media buyer. You have all kinds of things. That was just the choice that Elaine Anthony made to go the route of news. You don't have to go that route at all. And I'm so glad that we offer all of that public relations, advertising. We were talking earlier about sports media. We want to be able to impart all of it because all of it is communication. And I can safely say communication is the most powerful entity in the world today. It is. I mean, with digital upon us, everything being digitized, even the newspapers are now in the television business. That's right. You know, who, who would have thunk it, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we were talking, I was talking to Jackson Free Press publisher uh, Todd Stauffer the other day, and yes, they're in the print business, but they're heavily in the, mm -hmm. the digital realm, you know, and websites you're, and you're, you're so, it, You are so right, because on the, today is what, Thursday? On Monday. I took my entire class down to the Clarion Ledger, and their social media editor talked to the class, and he was talking about streaming, he was talking about uh, 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 digital video, he showed us where the little set was down there, and lastly, he talked about print. So he said, we've got to be multimedia journalists, you've got to be able to understand this platform and be able to go out and, and shoot a story. And I think the most interesting thing was that we talked about something that was in the headline uh, about two days before we actually went for the field trip. And I asked him, would you take that headline? Because if, as I could see on my phone, they broke the story. Walk these students through how did you get the information, how social media uh, worked in that. He was talking about Periscope and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all these things. He was saying you've got to use all of that in terms of your coverage. So he walked them through, they got a tip, and then they had to make sure that, they, uh, that the tip was valid. And they went through all of these sources, but it was a real story. That's what I love about this field, is that when I teach, I teach with my telephone right there on the podium. I don't know what's going to come across that telephone while I'm actually up teaching. And what I will do is work that into whatever I'm saying. Then after I teach that unit, then I take my students to see it. Because, you know, our area is like, uh, you remember show and tell? Mm -hmm. Where you had to take something mm -hmm. and then you had to show you know, it's something that always embarrassed your parents, but you took it to school and you show. Mass communication is show and tell. It's not enough to just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. So when I take them 
it makes it all make sense. Mm -hmm. What I've been talking to them about, how we've been infusing it in with the telephone, uh, the iPhone sitting right there, and they do everything down there via the iPhone. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how all of this takes place. And my students were amazed when they, he actually walked them through a real story, you know, it's that a, had to do amazing. with Jackson State. It's amazing. Um, the uh, website for uh, Jackson State information, and particularly for the Mass Communication Department, is there a website that we can give to the public out there? We are redoing it right as we speak. One of our faculty members, Dr. Luis Ameda, is redoing it, and I hope what we're talking about now will, will follow up on that website. Also, our special events coordinator is working hand in hand with him, Sylvia Wadley. So it's not finished as of now, but I had them to disarm it so that we can do something totally different mm -hmm. because I want it to really resemble all of the things that I want students to know that they can get in mass communication. Right, and they can get to that website when it's ready through the JSU uh, yes, through JSU, website, yes, Jackson State through University. Through JSU uh, EDU, they well, can Dom, get to uh, it. Thank you for coming, and uh, it sounds like great things are happening at the uh, communications department, and uh, we're happy to have you here with us, and we want you to come back. Well, we want any listeners that are out there that are interested in, in Jack coming to Jackson State, please contact us via the website, or uh, they can contact us at 601-979-2151. We'd be happy to talk to them. And uh, just contact me directly or, or email me. I'd be happy to talk to them about the program. And we have a lot of alumni across the state, right? We've got alumni everywhere. And in fact, we're having a big alumni party for homecoming. So we want all of our alums for all the way back to the 70s, all the way through 2015 to come and join us for an alumni brunch Friday, October the 23rd, right here at the Mississippi East Center. That's where we're located. So we just want the alums to see where we've come from and then hear about where we're trying to go, and we want their input and support. Doctor, thanks for coming. Thank you and so much. And we'll have you back soon if you've got time to come visit us. I okay? always have time to visit you, Ellen. Okay, Doc, thank okay. you very much. <laughs> Dr. Elaine Hayes-Anthony will be back after this. We'll be right back with more of Nike after these messages. This is our Graze Box. It's a great way to snack. Fresh, tasty, and created using only the best ingredients. Choose from our range of over 90 delicious snacks. We'd like to invite you to try a hand-picked box for free. Go to graze.com and we'll send a free box directly to your office or home. It may even help you keep your hand out of the cookie jar. Go to graze.com and enter the code graze34 for a free box. Graze.com. Snacking. Reinvented. Bengal presents From One Legend to Another. Good day. I must say I've deduced that Bengal Roach Spray is a superior product. It's kept all traces of those vile creatures from my home. Which lets me focus on more meaningful pursuits. People trust Bengal Roach Spray's legendary performance. No odor, no mass, no roaches. Bengal Roach Spray really works. With Bengal, I love having a little more me time. Your on-air career journey begins at broadcastdemo.tv. Both recent graduates as well as seasoned news and weather veterans need an updated and fresh demo tape to apply for those on-air positions across the country. BroadcastDemo.tv, a one-day visit to our Weather Vision studio, and you'll have an HD and digitally edited demo tape that you'll be proud of. BroadcastDemo.tv, invest in yourself. Ingalls Shipbuilding has pioneered the development and production of technologically advanced, highly capable warships for the U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, and Marine Corps for more than 75 years. Ingalls is Mississippi's largest manufacturing employer. And today, Ingalls has an immediate need for more than 200 electricians at our Pascagoula, Mississippi site. Apply today at www.buildyourcareer.com or call 888-935-1507. And now back to more Night Chief. Karen Parker is with us from New Vibrations Network. Yes. And you're on Facebook, right? New, yes. New Vibrations Network. Yes. And, uh, and uh, your group uh, is a group that uh, works with uh, people 
uh, from all spiritual persuasions. Would right. that be the correct way to put right, it? Right, right. We're a body, mind, and spirit group. It's what a lot of people call it. It's a metaphysical group that gets together and we talk about all kinds of interesting things, other cultures, other religions, different uh, energy systems in the body, um, different things that are going on in the world. I wonder how many religions are there? How many uh, path oh pathways are there out there? Just about as many as there are people, I think. I think we all have our own form of our own religion of the choice. The indigenous our peoples had their own, choice. right? I mean, yeah. the Indians and other indigenous people around the world all had their own belief systems, right? Very much. Before uh, the white man came to uh, this country, right? right? The Indians had their own religion, right? Right. And how would you explain the religion of the Indians at that time? Well, I think they were mostly earth-based, which means that they used the sun, the moon, the animals, the plants and herbs to uh, have a spiritual practice. Um, it, I guess maybe it wouldn't be considered a religion. It would be considered a spiritual path in that um, uh, Native Americans, I'm sure, developed their own um, I'm, I'm really kind of losing this, so I'm sorry. No, it's fine. And, okay. you know, from, from what I have uh, uh, ascertained, they, they believed in a, a great God, you know, uh, in, in a yes. God. So that yeah. seems to be the, the, the theme that runs through so many different uh, religions, right? Well, that they saw spirit in everything. They saw spirit in mm -hmm. everything, right. Mm -hmm. And they had totem poles. Totems. Some of them. And so, oh, totems, yes. So yes. tell us about Most totems. That's another aspect of, 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 uh, of, the, of the very spiritual uh, walks out there, right? Right. There are uh, lots of different um, indigenous people and current uh, spiritual paths that follow uh, different totems. You can have animal totems that you feel particularly connected with, that you feel deliver messages to you and for you. Uh, you could have... Uh, different plants and herbs that you feel particularly connected with. So a totem would be a, represent, a representative of uh, a spiritual represent connection with that person? With, um, with, the, with your spirit, with spirit in general. Do you choose your own totem? Mm -hmm. um, there or does are. the totem choose you? Well, I would imagine <laughs> it's probably a little of both. A little of both, yeah. Uh, depending on what you're going through at that particular time. Or some, some do believe that you keep one or two totems with you all of your life. So if you wanted to be like an eagle, you mm -hmm. might uh, revere the eagle as far as a symbol that you can relate to. Right. And right. you might uh, talk to the eagle for, um, uh, to, to deliver messages to spirit, to um, ask particular favors from, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the network uh, that you're a part of, New Vibrations Network, mm -hmm. you have meetings once uh, a couple of times a month? Once a month, once on a second month. Thursdays. Second we, Thursday. We meet from 6.30 to 8 at the Unitarian Universalist Church. Which is in Jackson. In Jackson. Mm -hmm. So, for people around the state who uh, would like to get in touch with your group, what, what do they do? They go to uh, the New Vibrations they can Network? They email me at newvibrationsnetwork at gmail.com or they can find us on Facebook at New Vibrations Network. Okay, great. Well, thanks for coming in again. Thank you, Edward. This is uh, your second trip to our show, and uh, we hope to have you back again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen, very much for being with thanks. us. Thanks. Okay, we'll be back after this. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of Night Tea after these messages. This is our Gray's Box. It's a great way to snack. Fresh, tasty, and created using only the best ingredients. Choose from our range of over 90 delicious snacks. We'd like to invite you to try a hand-picked box for free. Go to graze.com and we'll send a free box directly to your office or home. It may even help you keep your hand out of the cookie jar. Go to graze.com and enter the code GRAZE34 for a free box. Graze.com. Snacking. Reinvented. When you are looking to further your education, there's only one university that towers above the rest, Jackson State University. Jackson State University is one of the leading universities in research, technology, and innovation, graduating more than 1,300 students annually and a consistent growth in revenue. Jackson State University is ranked number one amongst the HBCUs in research and development. Make the right choice, the one choice, one Jackson State University. Changing lives, one student at a time. Credit card debt is a very real problem that faces most American households. USA Debt Consultants offer services to relieve you of your debt problems. Our partners work with creditors to help you lower your monthly payments, stop harassing phone calls, 
and avoid bankruptcy. Give us a call today to learn how to take control of your debt and financial future. Get your life back. Let us help. Call USA Debt Consultants at 800-769-6406 for a free no-obligation consultation. Yeah, I'm a roach whisperer. I've just always had a way with them. Now, roaches are stubborn, nasty insects, and sometimes you just gotta be forceful with them. Kai Roach, be gone. Hey, hey. You're not welcome here, Roach. There is a better way. Bengal Roach Spray. No odor, no mess, no roaches. Bengal Roach Spray really works. And if whispering don't work, I always got my backup plan. Ingalls Shipbuilding has pioneered the development and production of technologically advanced, highly capable warships for the U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, and Marine Corps for more than 75 years. Ingalls is Mississippi's largest manufacturing employer. And today, Ingalls has an immediate need for more than 200 electricians at our Pascagoula, Mississippi site. Apply today at www.buildyourcareer.com or call 888-935-1507. And now back to more Night Chief. Well, I'd like to thank Dr. Elaine Hayes Anthony, the director of the communications department at Jackson State for being with us. A lot of things happening in that area here at Jackson State. And also Karen Parker, who is a very innovative person. She created the New Vibrations Network. You can check it out on Facebook and we'll have her back on as well in shows to come. We're on around the state, and we are on in the Jackson area on JSU TV, and we thank you for being a viewer of NITIQ, and you can get in touch with us through our website, NITIQ.com. Give us any show suggestions or whatever. I'm Edward St. Pei. Have a good evening and good night. Join us every weeknight statewide for Night Teak with Edward St. Pei. If you have suggestions for guests or want to be on the show yourself, drop us a line at www.nightteak.com. I'm your announcer, Jim Pollard. Good night from all of us at Night Teak.